Did my lipstick smear? No, it's okay. perfectly in place. This is not moving. <laughs> Amanda Montel, and this is The Dirty Word, where sex and language get it on. And this is Ryan O. Hi. By night, Ryan By night, o. and by the morning, we don't know. Ryan O has joined me today, um, looking as ravishing as she is, mm. because today we're gonna learn a little bit of a vocabulary lesson, mm. and it has everything to do with drag slang. Yes. <laughs> Before we get into the whole thing, I. I want to know what the right terminology to describe you is. So, mm -hmm. are we are we calling you a drag queen, a drag performer? Like, what what is the right word to use? You know, for me personally, and drag is such a thing where you have to describe yourself just purely based on how you feel. Totally. For me, I prefer drag gremlin. <laughs> drag uh, gremlin. Or drag monster. I'll take either or. Drag monster. A drag queen is always really funny, kind of larger than life. I don't feel like I can walk into a bar and be like, hey y'all, give me all your money. Right. I feel like I'm gonna like be in like the dark little alleyway, giving a little show for five people. Sure. That have kind of lost their way in life. So your name has a lot to do with your vibe. Totally. I had like a drag name for a while. Um, I actually had a few. The first one was Tora Lahora. Um, very Jewish, very young. Um, you know, it was her. A young Jewess. And then I was Ophelia Phil. Is that where the O in Ryan O comes from? It is, yeah. I was okay. really drunk one night uh, and I was with my boyfriend, X Benedict. And I was like, you know what, fuck, I just don't, I feel so weird introducing myself other than my name. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to keep a part of Ophelia because she like helped me find my confidence as a drag performer. Cool. Um, and so that's, that's where I got that. So we're going to be playing a little <laughs> game today. Great. Because in the drag community, there's a lot of slang happening. Uh -huh. I think the mainstream population is familiar with drag slang insofar as like they watch Drag Race, RuPaul's right. Drag Race. There's like so much drag terminology that I'm sure I I do not know, but I'm very excited to learn. Let's do it, let's do okay. it. Okay, this is how this vocab quiz is going to work. Ryan O here is going to go down a list of some of her favorite drag slang terms. I'm going to guess what they mean, and then Ryan O is going to school me. Yeah. Yes. So what's the first term? When someone says I'm gonna read you, what does read mean? The library is open, it's time to read. Um, okay, okay, I have heard this term before. You're gonna like, kind of size them up in a critical way. That's great. Oh, is that somewhat right? Yeah, that's like a really articulate way of putting it. Reading is like you're going to cleverly insult someone. Oh, okay. And so that kind of brings us to shade. Shade. You throw shade. You throw shade, yep. You can you be shady. Yeah, 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 yeah. So shade, yeah. which has is another one that's kind of made its way into popular culture a little totally. bit, is um is kind of like is sass. Well not quite sass, it's like um when you subtly are kind of like insulting someone, yeah. like you make you make an underhanded remark. <laughs> that's great, yeah. <laughs> um it doesn't have to be underhanded, it can be like you throw shade, you br you drag someone, you just like totally insult the shit out of them. And the thing about reading and shade that's very interesting mm -hmm. is that those are two words that actually come from black, gay, and trans culture. Very a la Paris is Burning, yeah. um, New York City in the 80s. Um, so Paris is Burning is like this incredible documentary yeah. that's kind of like required viewing if you give a shit about culture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any culture you have to watch Paris is fucking burning. Yeah, and it kind yeah. of documents this um, community of black gay drag yeah. queens in the 80s. Yeah. Drag performers, drag gremlins. Dra drag monsters. You know, there's actually a, um, a drag terrorist who's my favorite. Her name is Christine. And I love her. She, she describes herself as a drag terrorist. But yeah, there is a history there where, um, yeah, not only has, you know, straight, heteronormative white culture kind of mm -hmm. adopted these words, but um, even in white gay culture, these words have been borrowed, stolen, you know, appropriated and such. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, you know, and they're not ours. Not knowing the history and, and just kind of like saying them because they're really popular right now mm -hmm. is really dangerous because it's irresponsible. You have to know where they're coming from. You have to know what the words mean. You have mm -hmm. to know what they meant back in the day. And then you can use them for fun. Okay, what do you think beat means? I beat my blank. Oh, um, 
Okay, so I know face beat is when you like put on your makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat, like you fucking beat your face. Like your mug is perfect. You are like blended. So it refers to makeup always? Yeah. yeah. I mean like a drag can like beat your ass if you like fuck the way. Let's do another term. What is the difference between a kiki and a kai kai? <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea. Okay, a kiki okay. is um, when you like get together to talk about something. Yes! Okay. Yeah, great. When like two drag queens are like, let's have a kiki, let's talk. A kai kai? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well. Kai kai. Kai kai. Is a kai kai when um, the discussion is um, more elegant, more intellectual? <laughs> Just tell me, please. A kiki is, yeah, a kiki is when you're like talking with your besties. A yeah. kai kai is when two drag queens are having sex. Oh! A kai kai is when you are in full drag and your partner's in full drag and you are. Can I say fucking? Yes. Yes. Fucking. Oh wow, I was really off. You try to elevate something that's really base. Are all drag queens gay? Um, no. You've met. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. So here's the. Oh my, oh my god, I love you. Okay. <laughs> I was shocked to find this out. My favorite kind of queen is a bio queen. What does that mean? Everyone look up Magdalena Feminon on Instagram. A bio queen is like a is like a um a cisgender female. Okay. Who who performs drag. And is not a drag king. Not is not a drag king who performs like an over-the-top expression of drag. It's amazing. So because a lot of women feel like performing the type of femininity we're expected to perform is drag. Is drag. I mean, we're all in drag. Yeah, like, this yeah. is drag. What does tea mean? Um, spilling the tea? Spilling the tea, yeah, like, ugh. That's like gossip, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tea's like, what's the 411? Mm -hmm, what's mm -hmm, the gossip? Mm -hmm. Spilling the tea is nowadays used a lot in, like, celeb. Right. TMZ, spilling the tea. You're right. But that comes from drag. Absolutely. So people don't know that. Okay, next one. Okay. Two clock. Means. Like, to clock. Like, like clocked. I had one of my very good friends on the Dirty Word a few weeks ago, Kyla, who's a trans woman. Yeah, and I, she, I saw that. Oh yeah, she taught me that clocked in the trans community means when you can decipher that someone is trans based on their appearance or how they sound. Oh. Is that, is that similar in drag? No, but that's so interesting. Clock means like, to point out a flaw, I see that that is being held up by like a safety pin. Right now, for me, don't clock my eyebrows coming through my glue. <laughs> <laughs> let's do one more term. I, I think it's kind of offensive. All right, well, let's explore something offensive. Fishy. Fishy. So I think I learned from the movie Tangerine that a fish is someone with a vagina. Like a woman with a vagina. Yeah, fishy is like a drag queen who looks so too much like a regular woman. Yeah, right. It's like they could they could be a woman. I mean they could be a woman, Jesus, what does that mean? Holy shit. But they could be like right. really feminized. I mean I'm not offended by that. <laughs> But who would be? Who who would be though? Well, I mean, my friend was like, I think that word's kind of offensive because fishy, and this is like gay men being like uh, oppressive towards cis women. The stereotype of a woman's under region. Yeah. Smelling being bad, gross. Being gross. Well, it's all gross if, you, if in some way. This smells terrible <laughs> right now. Okay, this is truly a nightmare. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Dirty Word, Ryan O. It has been a pleasure, a fantasy. It's been a kiki. This has been a kiki. <laughs> if you have any questions for Ryan O about drag slang, please leave them in the comments below. And remember, stay dirty.